You are live on the Billionaire Mindset Forum, where you get inspirational content that will propel you towards growth and positivity. Welcome! If you haven't, click the subscribe button to get timely notifications about content, especially tailored for your personal development. You must have heard about the stock market, where companies and businesses trade their shares and investment values. Investment opportunities flood everywhere, only for those who know how to mine them, discover them, and take advantage. In an age where working smart is the better way to earn, trading stocks is a very lucrative deal to get involved with. The stock market is a very competitive digital marketplace, where the values of stocks are dependent on the business performances, and profits made by companies are exchanged. People make profits from the stock market in three ways. 1. Owning and holding security. 2. Interest and dividends on shares. 3. Increment in the long-term value of stock. As you might be thinking, it is true that not everyone is involved in the buying and selling of stocks in the literal sense. There's a smart way to go about that, and you'll find out in this video. Against the widespread belief that the stock market traders have to sit in front of computers all day, thinking and monitoring the prices of stock commodities, investing in the stock market can be more straightforward. The best way to make money in the stock market is not necessarily in the buying and selling of bonds continuously. The secret is buying the security and holding on to them. This is the classical Warren Buffett investment style. In the real sense of things, buying or investing in stock means you're buying a share of the company. Essentially owning a particular share in a company, that means you've contributed to their working capital and they would make trades with your money. Hence you're entitled to getting an equivalent amount of profit by percentage as your periodic share. Furthermore, as the price of the stock rises, your value with them rise. That is, the monetary equivalence of your share increases to a new amount. Away from the troublesome price monitoring and selling, make a decision to invest in common stocks for the long term. What you should do is to buy a company's stock and wait for it to yield in time. Dividends and periodical profits to make, and you can eventually sell your shares to someone who's willing to buy. To make profits that count, you have to follow business news about companies that are doing well in the market and have high prospects. Here are things to look for. 1. Business history. Study how their stock has grown over the years, with attention paid to the last five years especially. 2. Select a company with excellent leadership and policies. 3. Investigate the practices of the company and their service towards shareholders. You can read up reviews online. When these are chosen, especially for well-managed companies, the value of your stock will increase with time and you can hold on to your stock for a minimum of five years before you decide to sell or to keep holding on. How Stock Works Let's imagine a fictitious company, Harry & Harry, who recently made $5 million in sales at the end of a business year. From their sales, their return is only $1 million. Seeing that their business prospects are high and they can make more profit if they expand, Harry & Harry put out shares to sell. They decide to sell 1,000 shares for $1,000 each. So Harry & Harry allocates $100 profit to each of the shares. The profit is known as earnings per share. Buying 5 shares would mean you're buying $5,500 of the company's profit, or loss. The growth in the company's share value is growth in your benefit too. The main profit is the rise in the company's stock price, which happens in time. It's why the stock market should be considered as a long-term investment. Anne Scheiber was a woman who earned less than $4,000 per annum, but she took advantage of the stock market by buying stock with her $5,000 savings. She grew her asset into a multi-million dollar fortune that appreciated even unto her death. Her lawyer and broker reported that she had a $22 million worth asset. The company can send cash dividends to you from some of their gross profit you have, depending on your agreement. Dividends would be paid by check or directly to your personal account or brokerage account. However, there's other options that might fetch you money. The company can decide to buy back the shares when they have made enough profit. When a company repurchases its shares in an open market, it's to bring all the shares back home. That also means the company is rich enough to reduce debt and internalize its profit. Other than this, the company can also reinvest the funds gotten from stock trading to buying more assets for the company. What you have control over in the stock market is the amount you invest and what to invest it in. You may also determine what you want with your funds, but this is based on the options available by the companies. Other than these, you may sell your share to someone else for more than what the company is worth at the moment. This is possible if the person sees a more promising future for the company than what it's worth at the moment. If you need emergency funds, you can trade part of your stock for a financial way out. 
So, how do you assure financial success while trading for stock? The first thing is to do your homework. Just like every business needs researching, every investment needs research. You have to make inquiries, run your research, and verify what's up with the company, as suggested earlier. However, more than that, you should also do a study about the business. Invest only in business that you know about. Make market research about the industry you'd like to invest in. Trading in a market you understand will help you make informed decisions by market trends. Invest with discipline. The stock market is very volatile, and consequently the risks are high. You should carefully and patiently make your investment. If you're not sure about the future of the company you want to invest in, you can invest by allocating a certain amount and later increase your investment if you think the company can do even better. Patience and a disciplined approach to investment will help you minimize the risk of loss and maximize profit. Also, make sure you invest what you can afford, your surplus. Do not accumulate bad debt by getting your head in the game, with the hope of a quick market turnaround. With borrowed funds, if things go wrong, debt is unavoidable. Monitor Monitoring is essential, albeit the type of stock investment you make would determine if you should worry about frequent monitoring or periodic monitoring. No matter the choice, supervision of stocks is vital. Monitoring would mean to keep up with the news, updates, events about the company and industry you invest in, and stock market and stock price trends. Be realistic. There's only a thin line between investing blindly and investing based on calculated risk. Working with the calculated risk means the prospects have been observed and seem plausible to a great extent. However, investing unrealistically would mean to invest with assumptions and hopes. Let your assumption be realistic with real figures being put into consideration. Becoming super quick rich with the stock market. If you're thinking about getting super rich within a short time in the stock market, then there are things you should consider. Below are the tips to follow. However, you should know that you're not under any obligation to follow them. Put in as much money as possible. This is risky true, but it's also the way to get rich super fast. Putting all your money helps you to gather as much wealth profit as possible based on your potential. The earlier you invest most of your money into the market, the faster your financial growth would be. As much as this can turn to be a huge loss in a consistently low market value for your invested stock, it can also boost profit in a very short yield time if the volatile market witnesses a sharp upward pull. Invest in companies that do not give dividends. Offering dividends is a good way for the company to appreciate your support by giving you a part of the profit while still allowing you to keep up your share with them. However, this is a very bad thing if you want to get rich quickly. Distributing dividends means they're not maximizing the profit by reinvesting it into their business. You need a company that's reinvesting its profit into the business to make as much profit as possible in the shortest possible time. This will allow you to cash out your shares quickly with a smiling face. The bottom line is that as good as dividends sound, it doesn't foster quick wealth recovery from the stock market. Do not diversify. Diversification is a safe way to invest. That means you invest in different stocks across different industries so that when one of them falls, the other is able to cushion the effect. This though is not good for someone who wants to get super rich as quickly as possible. Yeah. That's because you want to invest in a company with the highest prospects, such that the rise in market value will take you as high as possible. That is why you have to look at the opportunities available for the company and the market values of its product. When you are sure that the product is able to perform well and quickly, put all your money on the company and watch your funds grow to double, triple, and even more within a short time. Diversification slows down growth but minimizes risk. A reduced risk is a long way to become rich super quick. Invest in small or medium cap companies. Small companies with potentials are able to grow their market shares and values faster than big companies. These companies have high possibilities of winning the hearts of the customers. And although they're starting small and working hard, success is very surely only in a matter of short time. For big companies, they've surpassed the rate of geometric growth rate. Growth is slower than it was some years back. Picture this scenario. A company, Harry & Harry, sells in 27 states out of a country that has 30. Their products are household products, and most people within their customer demographics use them already. All Harry & Harry needs to cover is three more states for growth and to maintain their customers. Another company, Porter Inc., manufactures a household product, a unique solution from what the market has always known. Within six months of being in the market, Porter Inc. has already reached four states and the orders are climbing. That means Porter Inc. has a stunning potential for growth, and if there's any company to invest in for a quick turnaround, it should be Porter Inc., because it has more ground to cover and the growth is imminent. 
Making quick cash from the stock market is a great deal. The higher the risk, the merrier the fun. So there you have it. Like this video and share your thoughts. We would like to get your reactions. With that said, have a good one, and I'll see you all in the next one.